Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here as I say thank you for 10,000 subscribers. Now, normally when I make these videos, I'm not really sure what to do, except say thank you, and I appreciate all of your feedback, your time, and your support, really. I mean, 10,000? 10,000, I have anything. Sometimes can be a big number for, for my channel. That's huge, that's huge. So, I thank you for subscribing. I thank you to everyone who's left comments and likes, and maybe even dislikes, on the channel. It means a lot to me. And, you know, when I make these videos, I normally don't like to compare myself to anyone else. But, I'm bringing that up because I am comparing myself to someone else. So, last time I said this, or last time I made this video, I hit a thousand subscribers. That was in 2019. I started this channel, well, a long time ago, but I really started uploading in 2017. It took me up until, what, December of 2019 to get to a thousand. And now, basically around mid-December, I hit 10,000. Ten, that's, that's a lot of growth in a year like I don't know where you guys came from but hey welcome to the channel I hope you stay here regardless like that's a lot of growth in a single year so I don't think I'm gonna be able to re replicate that growth by the time this time next year but hey whatever the reason I say that's you know what maybe I can maybe I can if I got up to 10,000 maybe I can get up to uh, 20,000 of you guys or 50,000 of you guys eventually on this channel I think that'd be great uh, the reason I bring that up though is is this. Now, I see other people, notably one other person, in which they have a large subscriber count. I'm talking about Provis Gaming. If he can, you know, do some videos every day, he's got over 450,000 subscribers. I'm not sure how much different content he brings out. Obviously, he plays other games than just Hoi 4, but I'll talk about it in a little bit. So if Provis can do that, or Pravis, however you say his name, you know, whatever you think of him, you know, whatever it is, what it is. But if he can do that, why can't I? So maybe there is a chance I can get to 20,000 subscribers. Maybe that's my next goal. 20,000 subscribers, and then maybe even 50,000 subscribers. I don't know. We'll see what happens. 2021, I, who knows what's going to happen. So regardless, I have a couple things I want to branch out and talk about in this video. But to wrap up this point, thank you. Thank you for your support. I really, really appreciate it. So. Because this is a thank you video, I figured we might as well update or keep you guys updated on what's going on through my mind, through the channel, and the future of the channel. Also, I guess technically when I, with me playing so much TNO, there's a chance, or just, for, you know, Hoi4 in general, there is a chance that I could get, could get shut down someday just because of the content that uh, I like to produce, especially with uh, the New Order. So, <laughs> oh man, uh, I guess YouTube doesn't like swastikas. Go figure, whatever. So. Uh, the next point I want to bring up is a continuation of Hoi4 on this channel. You can't see it, but I've got a little list I want to talk about here. So, uh, yeah, Hearts of Iron 4, it's still going to be the main focus on this channel. Like, I love Hearts of Iron 4. I've been playing Hearts of Iron 4 for the past three years, almost every single day. My goodness. Uh, as you can tell, I'm very dedicated when I put my mind to things. But every single day, for the last three years, i played Hearts of Iron 4. I didn't say, you know, I did it well. I don't play it great. I just play for fun. Um, so, that being said, I will eventually reduce the amount of Old World Blues on this channel just because I've played so much Old World Blues. Like, I don't know anyone else who, who I've put on their channel, like, who has played as many different countries as I have. Well, I've gone through most of the countries, not, maybe, not, maybe not all, but I've played through a large majority of them. And I will be replaying some nations again, like, I've played as the Enclave, in the Enclave of Bormod, five times, even though there's only four paths now. You know, I don't mind going back, but eventually there's going to be a reduction in content because there's only so much in Old World Blues. I mean, obviously the devs are going to be working on stuff. Uh, they said they're going to have more frequent but smaller updates, so we'll see what happens. I just want to let you know that eventually in 2021, there will probably be a gradual reduction of Old World Blues content, depending on what's left there, or how much the devs can put out, because the devs are doing a great job. Great job. Um, but I'm also on the search for other mods. I love Total Conversion mods, of course, like Old World Blues, but I love TNO. As, if you look at my channel, I love TNO. I don't know why, but the story time, the storytelling in that, that mod, I love it. I love what can happen. Well, maybe I don't love what could happen, but I, I, I love the mod so much. It's so much fun, no matter how dark and dreadful, or happy, I guess, technically, depending on your perspective of the mod, so. Also, before I go too far, I do want to say there's a reason why you can't see my face. It's just because privacy reasons for now. Maybe I'll show you my face eventually if I make another channel, especially a music channel, but I'll get to that in a little bit. So, 
that about Hearts of Iron 4 on this channel. It's still going to be the main focus, but I would like to branch out to other games. As you can see on my channel, if you look, go to my videos on my main channel page, I, I've played Victoria 2 before. I love Victoria 2. It's so much fun. One of my favorite things is just seeing like the culture map mode change over time where you get maybe, you know, cultures change and then one dominant culture like spreads out and like engulfs all other regions. Or if you play in the new world where you get so many more immigrants and they assimilate your own culture. It's so much fun. And it, sometimes it's fun to see the, <clears throat> the removal of other cultures or they just get you know pushed out because they're a small group and they, you know, the victoria 2 is a lot of fun a lot of fun i love it that being said what i'm trying to say is that i'm trying to branch out to other games i would like to i've tried solaris once i have no idea what's going on in solaris um, so i want to learn and branch out to other games star Laris is on very high on my list to learn uh eu4 i tried that a little bit i played the ottoman once on the channel and i understand that quite a bit more than solaris so i would like to do a little bit of EU4. I just want to branch out to some other stuff, you know. I love Hearts of Iron 4, but I want to branch out and see what other things are out there, you know. So, I mean, then again, regardless, you know, that's good. And also, I'll let you know, I'm doing this without a script. I, I have bullet points, but what it comes out is what comes out, you know. I'm doing it raw, which sounds very weird, but regardless. So, that brings me up to my next point. I record a lot of videos every single day. But, because I like the interaction between you guys and me, and I like reading your comments as well, so I do plan on maybe trying out, this might not be a permanent thing, but occasionally, there won't be a set schedule, trying out live streaming from time to time. Uh, I've never done it before, I want to try it out, I apparently have bought an Ethernet or a LAN cable to make sure I have the best connection possible, oh, depending on my inter internet service provider. Um, if I do end up live streaming some stuff, uh, I'll take, you know, recommendations for what we'll play. Probably Hearts of Iron 4 to start off with, but, you know, actually you guys can teach me how to play Stellaris through live streaming. So, that's one of my ideas. Uh, regardless, I'll let uh, everyone know, I'll post it on the channel. I'll be live streaming certain day, certain time, when we get there, so. Let's see. And just more stuff about my personal life. The next thing I want to bring up for this channel update. Uh, next year is 2021. If you guys didn't know, I have finished my coursework for my master's degree, and I should be getting that, hopefully, maybe in the mail sometime in 2021. I might, hopefully I'll graduate. We'll see what happens. Frankly, I don't really care. <laughs> I really don't care. Um, but I'm done with the degree. That's great. And if you don't know, it's a music degree. So, that being said, for 2021, after I finish my degree with 2020, next year, I'm going to continue putting out a lot of videos. But that being said, I'm kind of getting older as I posted in my, you know, posts on my channel, and frankly, trying to figure out what I want in life has always been difficult for me, but one thing I do want more in my life, personally, is more music. I want to do more music in my life, because you see me committing war crimes and whatnot, and, you know, on screen and stuff, but I want to do more music, man, you know. And you can hear some background music, hopefully, in this video. It's not my own, but eventually I want to do some more composing. I want to do some actual music, because I play saxophone. Like, that is my primary instrument. I know I can come up with some good stuff, eventually, so... My goal is to do a lot more music in my life. Just like... It's been too long since I've played with other players. Like, like really good players, so... I just want you to know, maybe I'll make a music channel. Maybe I'll make a group. Maybe I'll make an ensemble. Maybe I'll compose some stuff and put it on Spotify, I'll let you guys know. Maybe, maybe not. If you're interested, let me know. Um, I mean, I'm a classical musician. I play some jazz. So, I would like to put it on the channel, but I'm thinking maybe not, just because I like to have this channel just for, you know, games, and maybe a channel for music. We'll see what 2021 brings. Regardless, uh, I did ask in one of these posts for the next point. If you have suggestions on how I can improve or grow this channel more, please let me know. I mean, there's other, you know, YouTubers like, was it Mountain General? And D Shaky, they do great, great stuff in which they post, you know, one video about an entire campaign. I like to show you the entire thing. But if you have suggestions on how I can grow better, hey, I'm open to comments. I'm totally open to it. I read, your, I read all your comments, good or bad. Most of them are almost usually pretty, pretty good. So I'm open to feedback. I'll put it like that. And finally, I said my, what was it 1,000? Was it 5,000 subscriber special? What state I live in? Hmm. What state do I live in? Well, as you can see, right here, if I do it correctly, you should see the outline of what state I live in, right here. Now, if you're not American, you'll be like, what type of state is that? 
Well, that's the state of Indiana. I live in Indiana, the Hoosier state. It's Midwest, and, and I live in East Coast time. So it's Midwest, East Coast time, it's a little weird, but I did say I would tell you what state I live in. Indiana, I haven't lived here all my life, but a good chunk of it. And finally, okay, so I was watching Alex the Rambler the other day, just for funsies. This is just, that's the last part is just for funsies. And he showed you, he gave you a channel update of what he was doing in the month of December. And he revealed he has a Pokemon collection, a Pokemon card collection. And you know what? 2020 has been a weird year. And actually, I've gotten back into Pokemon. I grew up with Pokemon. As you can see, I've got like, you know, Cubone, Munchlax, Squirtle. I've got Elite Trainer Boxes, Champion's Path. What a set. Pikachu is really cool. But he showed you a collection. I'll show you one of mine. One of mine. This is a binder, a white binder, a clear binder, but this binder has Pokemon cards from 18 years ago. This is called Legendary Collection. We've got things like Charizard, you got a Blastoise, we've got uh, Dragonite, we've got, you know, Slowbro. This set came out like 18 years ago at the time of this recording, and this is what I grew up with. Oh, Machamp is one of my favorite Pokemon ever. I mean, I love, if I could have four arms, I could get so much done, and Gengar's pretty cool as well, so. And we also have Electrode, Zapdos, Beedrill, but this is just a little sample of the Pokemon card collection I have. I mean, in 2020, I've gone nuts with Pokemon cards after rediscovering what they were all like and collecting these pieces of cardboard. I don't know why I like them so much, but I collected them as a kid, and well, I have a problem. I really do have a problem, but this is just a sample of what I've got in my room. Am I going to create a Pokemon card, you know, opening channel? Probably not. Probably not, but... Hey, I love it. I love Pokemon too much, as you can see. I love, I, I seriously, I love them too much. Regardless, I think that's pretty much it for the channel update, for the thank you video. So, regardless, um, thank you very much for, you know, supporting me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, other than that, thank you for the subs, the likes once again, and thank you very much. I guess I'll catch you guys in the videos, and hopefully very soon. Take care and have a great rest of your day.